So in this question, we're asking you to work out both the areas and the volumes involved uh, when we're using a hemocytometer. So uh, the hemocytometer um, has uh, all of these different grids uh, on it. So there's the big grids in the corner and goes down to the tiny grids in the middle. And we know the dimensions uh, of those grids um, because for the big squares, then they are one millimetre across. So that we can use that in order to work out the um, uh, size and then the volume uh, contained within the hemocytometer. So if we do the first one, so we do the orange one, okay, um, so that um, is clearly a one uh, millimetre by one millimeter square, uh, so therefore uh, that's going to have um, an area of one millimeter squared. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. Okay, now in terms of the volume, what we need to know is that the depth um, is defined by the cover slip, uh, which is resting um, uh, 0.1 mil um, above. The uh, hemocytometer, so that's the depth of our uh, of our system. Um, but what we're going to want to do um, is to go into nanoliters. So what is helpful to do here is to work in centimeters. Okay, so we know that one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter uh, equals one mil. Okay, so that's just a standard uh, set of units. So if we work in centimetres, it's going to be easier to uh, relate to uh, milliliters. So um, so if we think about this, so our, uh, in centimetres, so that one mil uh, up here, okay, um, is the same as not is the same. Sorry, as naught point one centimetres times by well, we've got another one mil, uh, so naught point one centimetres times by, so 0 0.1 millimetres uh, will be 0 0.01 centimetres. Um, so that allows us uh, to uh, determine our volume, um, which is, um, to, so to start with, that volume is 0 0.0001 mil. Okay, so we need to then uh, convert that into nanoliters. Um, so uh, in that case, our volume uh, will be uh, well. That will be the same uh, as 0 0.1 microliters because there's a thousand uh, difference in there, and that's going to be the same thing as 100 nanoliters. Okay, so the volume of that square overall is 100 nanoliters. So if we now do the same for the green square, um, so uh, we can see that the length of the sides uh, on there um, is going to be 0 0.25 uh, millimetres, because there's four of them within that one millimetre square. So therefore our area uh, is going to be 0 0.25 times 0 0.25. Uh, so that's going to give us an area of uh, 0 0.0625 millimeter squared okay so there's the area now we need to do the volume okay which as before it's easier if we work in centimeters at that point so 0 0.25 millimeters is the same thing as 0 0.025 centimeters okay so for our volume uh, we're going to do 0 0.025 times by 0 0.025, because it's a square, times by 0 0.01, which is the depth uh, of liquid. That hasn't changed. That's still uh, the, the um, cover slips at the same height. So if we do uh, that, and we've got our volume, uh, then that's going to give us uh, an answer of 0 0.0000, 0 0.0625 mil. Okay, so that's not very useful to us as a, as a dimension. Um, so that is the same thing. Um, if we times that by 10 to the 6, that's exactly the same thing um, as 6.25 nanoliters. Okay, so it's exactly the same process, but we're using the smaller volume. So for the volumes, uh, I definitely work uh, in centimetre uh, square because then you can convert easily uh, into mil and then into nanoliters.